click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the alloy formation by the transition elements as well as we also discussed about the reason behind the transition elements that form complexes. And now in this topic we are going to talk about the preparation of potassium dichromate. So now let us understand that is how we can prepare potassium dichromate from its ore. So friends, in this topic, I'm going to talk about the preparation of potassium dichromate that is K2Cr2O7 from its ore. So there are various steps that is what we can prepare the K2Cr2O7 from its ore. So starting with the first one, that is the number of steps that is I'm going to talk about. So starting about the first step, that is the step number one is concentration of the ore. So K2Cr2O7 is a compound that could be obtained from the chromite ore. And in this case, the chromite ore is nothing but I'm going to talk about is FeO. Cr2O3. So this is the chromite ore but this chromite ore that is obviously we understand that is this ore is not pure one and obviously it will consist of the other impurities also. So this ore is passed through a hydraulic classifier in which we can separate out the gang and this is what we can obtain that is FeO Cr2O3. But this is the one that is what we have to purify so that's the reason that we are going to crush it we are passing it through the hydraulic classifier and this process whereas we can separate out the ore and we can separate out the gang or we can separate out the impurity that is known as concentration of ore and that is what we can obtain feo cr 2 3 but this is the first step that i was talking about and now let me talk about the next one so the second step i'm going to talk about is conversion of chromite ore that is into sodium chromate so the chromite ore that is what we have got because of the concentration of ore that is feo cr2o3 that is nothing but a chromite ore so we are going to do a roasting process on it that is we are going to heat it in presence of excess of oxygen so in that case four moles of feo cr2o3 is reacted with oxygen so as to form fe2o3 along with that of four moles of cr2o3 and now this four moles of Cr2O3 is treated with Na2CO3 that is sodium carbonate along with that of six moles of oxygen so as to obtain that is sodium chromate that is Na2CrO4 plus eight moles of CO2. So this is a two-step reaction that is what I have mentioned over here and for that we have to mention the overall reaction. So for that we understand that is the overall thing that is what we have is four moles of FeO Cr2O3 is going to react with 8 moles of Na2CO3 along with that of 7 moles of oxygen atom, 7 moles of oxygen molecule so as to form that is 2 moles of Fe2O3 as a byproduct and this is the main required product that is what we have that is 8 moles of Na2CrO4 along with that of 8 moles of CO2. So since this is carbon dioxide so therefore this one would get evolved in the form of gas and this is what we have that is Na2CrO4 which is yellow in color. And now this is the main product that is what we need from it and that's the reason we are going to talk about the step number three and the step number three is the step number three is conversion of this sodium chromate into sodium dichromate. So in that case two moles of Na2CrO4 is treated with sulfuric acid and even this sulfuric acid is concentrated so that's the reason that the product that is what we could get is Na2Cr2O7 that is nothing but sodium dichromate along with that of Na2SO4 plus H2O so therefore this is basically the soluble product that would be separated out and even this is a soluble product but this is not the potassium dichromate that is what we have obtained this is sodium dichromate so while doing the other process we can convert this Na2Cr2O7 with K2Cr2O7 so what is the next step that is so the next step is conversion of sodium dichromate into potassium dichromate that is Na2SO4 that is what we have obtained that is sodium sulfate it is less soluble compared to that of that is sodium chromate sodium dichromate it is less soluble compared to that of that is sodium dichromate so that's the reason that it could be filtered out and now this is the soluble product that is what we have that is Na2Cr2O7 so now it would be treated with two moles of KCl and the product that is what we could obtain is K2Cr2O7 along with that of two moles of NaCl so this is the product that is what we could get and this is basically orange red crystal that is what we could get and this is how basically we can prepare K2Cr2O7 so therefore this was the method so as to obtain the K2Cr2O7 from its ore and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood that is how we can prepare K2Cr2O7 from its ore and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.